Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius, October 27, 2021. Emotions can be tricky today. Wishful thinking works if it inspires you or motivates you to go after what you want. However, if it only serves to leave you wanting, then you should probably let it go and get on with your day. A Venus-Neptune square today tends to distract you. While it's hard to communicate your desires temporarily, it's best not to let others guess them, as that, too, can lead to frustration. Focusing on realizable goals and stopping to appreciate what's already in place will bring the most satisfaction. But don't dismiss wistful feelings entirely they can remind you that you need to feed your need for more inspired living going forward. Are you clear about your worth, Sagittarius? Since Venus squares Neptune retrograde today, you may feel a bit unsure about your worth and professional identity. Venus is in your sign, igniting your sense of charisma and appeal. It can certainly help you come across a certain way at work, which is valuable in any position. But the square to Neptune retrograde can cause a bit of fuzziness. You may not be sure if you are valued as a professional. While you know your worth, it could be difficult ensuring others can see it too. Just know that this feeling will pass. At a point in this financial year and all the planetary activity is on the income side of the financial fence and things there are poised to explode with potential, the moon brings a chance to check in on money matters. The moon only returned to your financial sector tomorrow and it will leave tomorrow, providing a small window to listen to your financial instincts and imagination. Give in to your desire to exercise. You will feel the pull right now to get to the gym, if possible or get out of the house for refreshing walks or runs, and it's important to seize these urges and act upon them. Your body is crying out for energy renewal. And let's face it, you have to spend energy in order to get energy. You may also want to consider doing yoga or other stretching and deep breathing exercises. You will notice a rise in energy and a rise in your spirits. A week on from a full moon in a fun, playful, romantic and creatively charged part of your chart, the moon returns to an adventurous part, with a chance to finish what it began last week. With some pivotal days coming up across the income, work and career fronts and lucrative new developments from later next week, the moon is working hard to ensure life doesn't become all work and no play. Because the moon's visits are always fleeting this is an opportunity that can't be wasted. The moon's departure from your relationship sector yesterday was always going to leave you feeling more emotionally engaged but it also wrapped up a defining seven days on the romantic and relationship fronts. Starting with a full moon in your romantic sector last week, the moon has given you a deeper dive into your romantic and relationship needs just as Venus is in the final days of updating your desires and expectations on both fronts. You're feeling the pull to merge with your lover's mind, body, and soul, but you're also a tad bit inhibited when it comes to opening your heart. Now, before the moon concludes its intuitive journey through sentimental cancer via your intimate eighth house of sex, shared resources, and soulmate connections, it will square the wounded healer, Chiron, via your romantic fifth house of love, passion, and pleasure. Luna will also clash with Mercury, celestial ruler of your committed seventh house of significant others, so you could feel stifled in your attempt to communicate or reconcile. Moreover, Venus will be at odds with Neptune, so things aren't as they seem. 